Sun Hole World lost its head, and um, you've got this album, Return to the Valley of the Go-Go's, it's out. And what's what's your favorite song on the album? What's your favorite thing about this album? Um, I like having the old punk songs on there, because as we were saying earlier, it's, it's neat to let people know our roots. So I guess my favorite one is Fun With Ropes, our song about bondage. <laughs> That's my favorite tune. We all like to play that. It's a good one to play live because oh, yeah? it's really fast and it makes but, it all laugh. But the, the three new songs on there, oh, the song. they sound yeah. great. You know, it's like the first time that we really got things recorded the way that we wanted to sound. You know, and it's it's, it's a first for us. And we we're very this guy John Porter produced it, and he is wonderful to work with and great producer, good guy. What's the what's the best and worst thing about being reunited? I don't see anything bad about it. We've been having fun. We have a lot of fun together. Oh, I know the worst thing is that uh, I was used to just doing whatever I want 24 hours a day, and now it's like get up in the morning. And... I'll tell you what the worst thing was, but you just witnessed off camera. <laughs> That's tormenting me. <laughs> tormenting me early in the morning when I have to walk around with my fingers in my ears going, ooh, while they're screaming things at me. Oh. The, best, the best thing is that I love all the girls. Are you still going to get to do uh, solo stuff, or are you interested yeah. in doing that? Yeah. Yeah. And how many dates are you doing now, or finishing up? We're winding up now. Right. We're done. But then we, we're going to do these uh, a lot of shows for uh, ratings for stations that have been playing our record. We're going to go around and do these Christmas shows for the next ten days. So. And then we play it in, in February. We have oh, a couple great. dates in London. The record's coming out. All right, Jane, what are we uh, growing to now? We just saw Amy Mann's That's Just What You Are off of the Melrose Place soundtrack. Uh, you're a big fan of the show, right? Is that what you said? Yeah, I wish I could write for it. It'd be a great career. <laughs> Darcy, are you still with us? Yeah, I think the Go-Go should do a guest appearance. <gasps> oh, oh, oh Stealing back Joe's baby. <laughs> oh, yeah, we could steal that baby. Yeah. That's a good idea. Bring it on tour. Break up everyone's relationship, too. That would be fun. That'd be good. That's a good, great idea. <laughs> Melrose Place homework. I think they should move into Melrose Place. They're homewrecking go. I think so, too. We are homeworkers. We had a homewrecker tour one year. <laughs> it was a homewrecking tour. We broke up. We'll talk about that year. That's terrible. Uh, Darcy, Darcy, Darcy yeah. what are we going to be seeing tomorrow? We're going to have the new video from Robbie Robertson. <laughs> okay. <Darcy. laughs> coming by here. I really appreciate it. And uh, all continued success. And Thank you. Especially great. with the return to the Valley of the Go-Go's. Thanks. 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 We'll see you next Darcy, time. Darcy, don't forget to play our video every day. <laughs> <laughs> for Darcy's music, I'm here with the recently reunited Go-Go's who have an album out called Return to the Valley of the Go-Go's. Now, uh, how did this reunion come about and how can I, the consumer, trust that you guys are going to stick together? We're, we're stuck together. I glue. Super glue. It happened because IRS, uh, the Go-Go's record company, was going to put together a retrospective, and it, with or without our involvement, and we thought it would be a better project if we got involved since we had a lot of tapes and uh, files and closets uh, that they didn't have. And then we decided, exactly in front of us, and then we decided from there to try writing songs, and if they turned out good, we'd go into the studio, and that happened, and then we decided, well, maybe we'll do a few dates, and when that happened, that's what we're doing right now. And um, I think that we all have the desire to do another record in the future, and I'm sure we will. Yeah, you easily could have gotten away with um, just putting out a best of or greatest hits or a collection of stuff that you guys like. What motivated you to include uh, stuff that's so exposing the, the early um, <laughs> the early live rehearsals? It's it? great. Well, um, A&M Records, yet another record company, had already released a greatest hits package, and we didn't want this to just be a rehash of what had already come out before. I think it's great because it really shows, people don't realize really that the Go-Go's started, we basically started from nothing and not really having any musical knowledge and that we were a punk band and this really shows the evolution of a band and I think it's really interesting and embarrassing at times of course, but it's it's funny. I mean it's, it's, it shows what we were all about in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Now you've obviously paved the way for women rockers. What's been the biggest challenge that you've had to overcome, would you say? 
Well, initially it was tough to get a record deal. Yeah, it was initially it was really difficult because well, nobody would take us seriously, and so it was it was kind of hard in the beginning. Yeah, in 1980, a record company wouldn't think twice about saying, oh, we don't want to sign you because you're girls. I mean, no one would dare say that in 1994. They might think that, but they'd never say it out loud. Yeah. In those days, it was like, oh, no big deal. People were so sexist. Do you feel responsible for that, opening those doors up for well, making it easier? Well, I think we might have helped. Must have helped. I'd like to think. There were women, of course, before us that made it a little bit easier for us, but I think that there's no question that we opened up the radio any, at that time for the kind of music, you know, the new wave or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. Well, we're about to see um, Whole World Lost Its Head. Any, uh, anything you want to say before we uh, go to it? Well, it was directed by Roger Avery, who directed uh, Killing Zone and, and co-wrote Pulp Fiction and Reservoir Dogs. And, and, uh, he was really great to work he's with. It's the first time he's ever, ever done a music video, so it was uh, a first for him. And he's a real pleasure to work with, and we, this video we love, so we're, we're very happy to work with him. We like it a lot. All right, here it is.